interesting question. So because it's so new, I've just kind of started messing with it outside of the gym. Um, it'll be fun to see how it fits in. If I had to guess, I would guess that it's going to come into play when I... Welcome to Price File. What's happening in Price File Neutral Bio Nations? I'm here with Sheila Barton, CrossFitter extraordinaire. And so <laughs> we're at the City Athletic Club here in Las Vegas, it's Mitchell Olympia 2018. Sheila, can you give us a little bit of a rundown of what you're about to talk about with everyone here? Yeah, so tonight we're going to talk a lot about CrossFit. CrossFit's been my passion for the last eight and a half years. I'm going to run everybody through a workout and teach you how to do a CrossFit style workout in a not so CrossFit style gym. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make something happen in six minutes that you might think needs to take an hour. We'll get you sweaty and then I'll answer all your questions about CrossFit, CrossFit Games, and who Sheila Barton is. Sweet. So like, what, what are some of the things that you would do? Oh, so this, so this absolutely. is that kind of gym, right? Yes, absolutely. So CrossFit Gyms, we have rubber floors, rubber bumpers, we get to drop stuff, um, pull up bars. We're constantly running in and out. In a gym like this, I'm gonna use a lot more dumbbells. So it's gonna be a lot of unilateral work. Sometimes it's gonna be two dumbbells. We're gonna be working through movements. Um, we're gonna use cardio equipment mixed in with our dumbbells. So it could be something like a six minute AMRAP. So as many rounds as you can do and as possible in six minutes of maybe 10 alternating dumbbell snatches, switching arms, and then 500 meters on the rower. Nice, okay, so it's like crowded here and everything. You don't care, you just gotta- you Absolutely not. Really yeah, so in a gym where I've got this many people, I'm gonna take over a corner. And all of a sudden, it's not gonna be, people aren't gonna want to use my equipment because it's gonna be sweaty, it's gonna be gross, <laughs> and they know I'm not gonna need it for too long because there's usually a clock in the corner that's counting down. Oh, really? Do you use like a, a boxing timer or a big clock or something like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. Okay, sweet. Are we gonna see that in action here? That's gonna happen tonight. All right. A big so, adventure. Okay, so what's your home gym? Where do you usually train? So I have a home gym that's actually at my house. Oh, it's your home gym, it's your home gym. Yeah, okay. so it's called One Shot Project. It's about 800 square feet. It's enough for four to five people to work out at any given time, and we rock out loud music. Um, I have retired neighbors who love it. They sit out in their driveway, watch us work out. Um, it's a fun time. So if, if you're gonna put together a home gym as a CrossFitter, like what are the must-haves? Obviously a good bar and everything. Like, let's say I got like a thousand dollar budget. Can you get can you get by and do it? Yeah, a thousand dollars is it's gonna it's gonna cut it close. Okay. Um, I would get a low end like a two hundred dollar bar. I would get the cheapest bumpers that I could, and I'd only get probably 185 pounds worth of bumpers, so maybe a 35, a 25, a 10, and a five, and you'll be good to go. Get one medicine ball, 14 or 20 pound medicine ball, one kettlebell, either 35 or 50 pounds, and then two or three sets of dumbbells, and you can CrossFit literally anywhere. There you go, sweet. Okay, as a NutriBio athlete, what's your current NutriBio stack? And are you drinking these EAA Energy? Yeah. Too much today? No, so uh, the EAA Energy is actually my new favorite. Mm -hmm. The cherry limeade is to die for, super good. For blue raspberry. Okay, that's a good one too, absolutely. Uh, my NutriBio stack usually has, not usually, always has ZMA, fish oil, zinc, and um, vitamin D. Sorry, I'm like I'm looking through all of my all of my bottles that sit. Uh, and then when I'm at the gym, I'm always using Intra, Supercarb, and the natural. Uh, Way isolate, nice. cookies and cream. So you're keeping the carbs up while you're training with super carb. So as a CrossFitter, I'm usually in the gym six to eight hours a day. So I'm burning a lot of calories. Um, in order to maintain any type of mass at all, I have to constantly be drinking some Absolutely. type of super carb or some type of whey. So where's where's the AA energy going to fit in that mix? Are you going to kind of lower the intra blast or anything? Yeah, it's an interesting question. So because it's so new, I've just kind of started messing with it outside of the gym. Um, it'll be fun to see how it fits in. If I had to guess, I would guess that it's going to come into play when I start my morning yoga, kind of start my day, get myself going, and then that way when I get to the gym, I can start my dynamic warm up. Get going. Okay, so six to eight hours a day of training. Yeah. You're going like crazy here, but what, so what's the caffeine spread here? EA Energy has caffeine, so do yeah. you like kind of taste it out or not go caffeine at all? Or? Uh, EA is the first drink that I'll have in the gym that has caffeine in it. Okay, I don't drink caffeine. I don't drink, drink coffee. Okay. No, yeah, 
So I do the Stim Free Pre. Okay. There you yeah. Go. So um, I have plenty of energy. You wouldn't want to see me jacked off caffeine. <laughs> well, we might have to get enough of this in you. All right. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. We look thank forward you. to seeing the whole seminar. We'll have some shots of that rolled on in too. Absolutely. Thank where, you. Where can everyone find you? At Sheila underscore Sue. Follow the adventures. Um, hang out, and you can all you'll always find lots of CrossFit talk. Awesome. Thanks, Sheila. Welcome to Price Plow.